What's going on guys, RealTouchGML here, back with another Game Maker tutorial, and today we are going to be continuing our Minecraft uh, series here. So today we are going to be just adjusting the terrain a bit, and actually adding stone into it, along with uh, some grass. Uh, so yeah, we can go ahead and get started here. So in our dirt sprite, as you can see on our first image, we have grass that we actually didn't use yet. Uh, so if I went ahead and played it, as you can see, it's very plain and there's just dirt everywhere. Uh, and we're going to be fixing this today. But right off the bat, we want to add some grass. So what we're going to do is in the OBJ dirt, in the step event, what we're going to say is if place free x comma y minus 32 image index equals 1 else image index equals 0 so for any reason a block comes on top of the grass it's gonna change into the dirt so if we play it now as you can see it works perfectly and it looks more like uh, terrain uh, let me just get a better one where we can actually walk around and yeah there it is check that out so it actually looks a lot cleaner and better in my opinion so yep that's how you do that and now let's add stone so what I'm gonna do is I made this stone sprite and it's just single uh, it's just stone here and I'm gonna make it an object real quick so I'm gonna create object obj stone and in our create event we are going to move snap 32 by 32 and this just puts it on a 32 by 32 grid uh, much like your uh, room editor in actual game maker. So I'm going to make it solid here. And in our player, we are just going to duplicate the event of collisions so that we get collisions with our stone here. Okay, that works perfectly. And now what we're going to do is in our OBJ dirt, we're going to set up a variable. And it's going to be called spawn equals true. And we're also going to set alarm zero to equal, we'll say 30. Okay, and in alarm zero, spawn equals false. So this is when everything is getting spawned. Uh, and now in the step event, what we're going to say is if spawn equals equals true, put brackets around the uh, thing uh, where it pushes the block up. And I'm just going to indent this just to make it look cleaner. And here's where we're going to add the stone. So we're going to say if place meeting x plus 32 comma y comma obj dirt and and place meeting x comma y comma obj dirt then what's going to happen is instance create x comma y comma obj stone so if we play it now as you can see, it kind of works. Uh, it gets the top half, but we really want the bottom half uh, more too, because that just looks odd. So we're going to add in this code here: if place meeting x comma y plus thirty two, and and place meeting x comma y minus thirty two, comma obj stone. Wait, what? Why are we getting there? Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. OBJ dirt here. Then it's going to instance create x plus random 18 comma y plus 64 comma OBJ stone. Right now, uh, we get this weird sort of layout, but as you can see, it kind of spread out stone across the field here. And as you can see, this is just a lot of stone over here, but it kind of creates patterns. And if we went ahead and replayed it, you can see we get more here, and it gives you a lot of stone. Now, you can play around with this as much as you would like. Uh, but usually there's more stone uh, when you get lower here but uh, yeah go and leave a like go and subscribe uh, and what I mean by oh look at that what I mean by playing around with this is um, that's exactly what I did
I just played around with it, found something good, and then I made this. So this, if you don't like it, replace it. Say something like this. Now I'm just winging it here, so it may look terrible. But if place meeting x plus 32 comma y plus 32, and place meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to obj dirt. And then we could say x plus 32, or x comma y plus 32 obj stone. Instance create x comma y plus 64 obj stone. See how that looks. Those were just random numbers off the top of my head. It could look terrible. Um, okay. It gives us a little bit more of a base. If we wanted a lot of stone here. But it does single out that that one thing which which looks a little weird and it makes it everything stone which probably wouldn't like. So that's probably not a good one. Um, we could do maybe like this plus 32. See how that looks. That just looks awkward. <laughs> Let's test out another one. Hmm, that may that may look alright. Let's make it so that it creates stone plus ninety six. Hmm. If that's what you want, then there you go. Uh, now, yeah. Again, just play around with it. Make this your own, you know? So don't copy this uh, word for word or uh, line for line of code. Just play around with it and see what you can come up with. So, and then you could also say place meeting x minus 32, comma y plus 32, or plus 64, obj dirt random numbers off the top of my head okay and we get a little pattern here just get crazy with it you know uh, so go and leave a like go and subscribe I gave you a few examples there of see now this doesn't look too bad doesn't look too bad at all so go and leave a like, go and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with our own rendering system where we can actually expand the world as big as we want, really, with virtually no lag. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.